Mmm, I'm wondering which battery pack should I use today with my Mini 2? These big ones or LiPo or some lithium ion? Or maybe the small one for minimum take of weight? Hi guys, it's Oli here, I hope you're having a great day! This is why it is good to have an autopilot, I do not need to bother with the sticks when uh, taking off with the drone, I can just continue filming. But anyways, I have a debt to you guys because last time I didn't do a battery test outside because of bad weather, but now I'm out and as you can see from these arrows I'm constantly recording in 4K30 just to make it more realistic. Right now I'm testing for top speed and it is 16 meters per second. This is exactly what DJI claims to be the top speed of the Mini 2. So basically whatever battery mode I did, it didn't reduce the maximum speed of the drone. I am actually using the 3500 mAh added battery setup. If you haven't seen my last video where I did the big test between different LiPo cells attached to the factory battery, then I suggest you check it out. So this was the one which did the longest time in that, uh, in that test. It was 45 minutes of flight time, like hover time indoors. So I got some comments to check it outdoors. Of course, I wanted also in the last video, but it was really shitty weather, to be honest. Now I had a, a chance to go out uh, for one day. Now I'm spinning you around, guys. If you can't have it, you can close your eyes. I will tell you when it stops. It was simply because... I had the drone on autopilot uh, doing circles. It's not just spinning around, as you can see. Uh, it goes with uh, seven meters per second forward. So it is. It was actually drawing small circles above me because uh, I just didn't uh, want to uh, do so much of uh, joystick work really during this flight. Now it is doing a little bit bigger circles, and uh, you will see. It's, uh, you could see that it was still on autopilot, the, con the controller was on the ground and this is now the drone whizzing by above me. And then of course I got uh, bored with that also. But anyways, there will be a lot of footage now of this flying. You could say, yeah, why can't I just cut it out? Because then someone in the comments are going to say, yeah, yeah, it's fake, it's not uh, genuine, whatever. But here you can see the counters, you can see even on the right side that it's constantly still recording. Anyways, I can give you a small, a short update about what's going to happen on this channel because this part is anyway only watched by those people who are really interested in the channel. So in last, uh, in my last video at the end, I showed a box which I I received and I asked you if you can figure out uh, what it is, and the Blackwater boys uh, figured out that it was a 3D printer. So I'm going to use that for future projects. This was the point, by the way, when the recording cut off because the SD card got full. I mean, uh, you know, 4K recording for over half an hour, that's a, that's a pretty sizable recording. Anyway, so that's about that. I'm going to design and print some uh, frames for the, for the drones so I can put accessories on them. And the other projects which are going on, I'm uh, into LoRa, long-range uh, radio communication for the controller which is going to be obviously used for the autopilot project also, which is not dead, it is still going in the background. I'm doing a lot of development, but uh, I don't want to publish half dance. Anyways, this is the result of this test now. As you can see, we are over 40 minutes. I'm just going to hand catch the drone now. I don't want to bother finding the landing pad, whatever. But uh, with constant flight, really, as you could see, going around and around, we did over 40 minutes with this uh, battery mode, so I think that's that's pretty okay. But uh, as you could see in the beginning, I made a little change on the Mini 2, and uh, this is what uh, is going to be mainly the next video about. I just want to show you that that's not all what I did during the week that I went out went out for a short test. So basically, what I did is that I created a circuit with which you can use any battery with the Mini 2. This is not my design to fully this circuit because it builds on the DJI factory circuitry but not from the Mini 2 battery but from the Mini 1 battery. Anyway, so as you can see I'm connecting now a 650 milliamp hours uh, 
series connected uh, LiPo cell to the Mini 2. Why is this good? Listen to the pitch. Listen to the pitch of this drone, it's so low, meaning now this is so light. I measured it, it's 209 grams. Some people asked me, you hear that? Would it be possible to get it under 200? And, and, and the answer is yes, I think it, it would be possible to get it under 200 grams. I don't know what flight time it could be, but uh, it would be possible. So this was the 650 million powers, and I'm just doing it real time. So you can see that uh, there is no cheating going on here. I'm just going to take that one off and I'm going to put on another battery cell. Now, why is this good? You say, oh my God, it looks crazy. Yes, it looks crazy, it is. But uh, it can be, can be made nicer. Um, mainly this small battery could be stuffed into the drone anyways. It's, uh, it's all just uh, like logistics afterwards. When, when the concept is done, when something works, you can always figure it out how to make nicer. Maybe the 3D printer is going to help in that also. So now I'm going to put the 4480 milliamp power cells, which you could see in my last video also. And then uh, I will also open the compartment. So you see there is nothing else inside. So it's only that and the little circuit. And then yes, of course, I had to take apart the drone and, and uh, solder some wires in so that you can, so I can connect with these XT60 connectors. But uh, it just works, I take off and uh, that's all so with that basically i can connect any battery cells to the to the drone and that's why it is good because i need only one uh controller so to say one circuit board and i can connect anything to it and i think that's pretty amazing it gives a lot of flexibility for people so there are a lot of other projects coming up but guys if you like this stuff Give it a like if you're interested or you, you think you learned something, sign up for this channel, check out my other videos and really thanks for watching. Bye.